Christmas. Moving now to Gareth Bale, as mentioned before the break. Uh, it's been a tough time in recent years at Real Madrid, playing just 14 games this past season as Zidane Zidane, Zidane, Zidane sorry, dislikes him for a reason we're not quite sure of. But he's been caught up by Wales manager Ryan Giggs, who had this to say about his playing time. No, I mean, I've always said ideally you want the players playing. Um, you want them playing uh, regularly, so when they come into camp, they're in that match rhythm. Um, you don't always get that, and it's something that I've uh, become sort of used to, really, and you, you have to just manage it right. You know, for example, Gareth, he played every game in the qualifiers, um, but obviously wasn't playing regular for his club. Wayne um, was sometimes playing, sometimes not. So, yeah, I mean, I'm used to deal with, dealing with that situation, and that's where a lot of preparation, a lot of work from myself and the staff has to go down before we meet up to see what minutes the, the players have played and, you know, getting that selection right. So who can play 90 minutes, who can knock off two games and the ones that maybe you have to manage in a different way. OK, so we'll get to the bail situation at Real Madrid shortly, but do you understand each why Giggs has to select him? He started 14 games this past season. He's rusty. Giggs says that he can't play back-to-back -back 90 minutes but you still got to pick him. Do you understand why? Of course. I think even if Gareth Bell has one leg, you still have to pick him. <laughs> huh? In general or, or just Wales? <laughs> no, no, I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm not saying that. That's out of order. But they're yeah. a decent team. They're a decent team. Yeah, they However, are. they're a decent team and they've got some very, very good youngsters <laughs> coming through as well. But this is Gareth Bell, who's been your leading marksman uh, for the last two big tournaments. But I totally understand where Ryan Giggs is coming from as the international head coach and saying, I need my players, especially my top, top elite player who is leading this group, is a big member of this this locker room that needs to be playing week in, week out, but he's playing more on the golf course than he is on the actual Bernabeu or football pitch at this moment. So. Yeah, it's true. I mean, not to say that he's going to be good for 90 minutes because he, I can't imagine he will be. He's only played, I think, 48 minutes of the 12 games since the lockdown. He's not played a lot of football. So, but yeah, is he going to play a part somewhere down the line? Starting, ending, substitute? Imagine him coming on as a substitute too if he have to go that way. What is Bale thinking though? Um, he says that no matter what, mm. I will honour my contract. I demand every penny that I'm owed from this club. Now, he almost left for China last season, of course. They couldn't agree uh, a transfer fee in the end. But yeah. he seems he's happy to rot at Real Madrid rather than play football. Yes, I, I th I, there is something to be said about that. I mean, he was close to going to China as well, so that's going to tell me that he's looking for a big paycheck and he's not looking to win trophies. Um, we're yet to know what Messi really wants to do exactly. Mm. I think he wants to win trophies still at the highest, highest level. Um, but Bale, I'm not too sure, Danny. No. And, and I had the same agent as as Bale, because he made about 10 million quid off Bale and about 10 <laughs> quid off me. But, but I know what he's like too, and he will be forcing whatever he can, and if yeah. he needs to sit there for two years, he'll do it. My big argument with this is that, uh, and this is from a player's point of view of, I just want to play football. And I think when you're a player of an elite level like Gareth Bale, you could go and get the money or close to what he is on at Real Madrid at any other top level club in Europe or even Asia, wherever it is in the world. So that is my big, big question mark with his character is, okay, we know you're at loggerheads with Real Madrid. We know you're not seeing eye to eye with Zidane, but put yourself on the football field where you can show the talent you have. You've wasted away the last two, three years of your career and he's gonna really regret it at the end of his career when he's on the golf course, smoking a cigar, he would said, I could have won more things. I could have helped my country possibly. Yeah, but, but he won four Champions Leagues. He's won two La Ligas. Still, like Messi's he done that, like. and he's still hungry. Ronaldo's won so many as well. He's still hungry. But some players yeah, don't but have they're that not hunger, normal. Right? Those guys aren't normal. I mean, when you, it, it is amazing to me how those two are so driven by success. And maybe the two of them are pushing each other, but... I see this. You see this happen a lot with players that want to take a, take the route out to to go to it's China the, or yeah, the it's Arab the easy world. route. It's the easy route, and I expect more yeah. from a player that I respect, Gareth Bell. I think he's a wonderful talent, but we haven't seen enough of him. And whether it's laziness, whether it's he's very very stubborn, he's still going to get paid wherever he is. So what's the difference in fifty grand, a hundred grand, when you're on four hundred grand a week? You know, frankly, it serves him right because he stole. York 9, 
Jimmy Brennan's job at Southampton once upon a time. Yeah. Stole it from him. <laughs> you ask Jimmy, he'll yeah. tell you that. <laughs> yeah. but, it, but it is a shame though, isn't it? Because I agree, wonderful talent, uh, but you're always going to want to see more from him, which seems crazy because he scored wonderful goals on the biggest stage in the mm. Champions League at, at World Cups. But, you know, it must frustrate you as former professionals. I mean, I know you don't mind the odd round of golf, Craig. And, at, <laughs> and, and, and yeah. at 31, I'm sure you enjoy playing golf too. Sure. But it seems, and that's what the fans don't embrace him, it seems he'd rather be on the golf course now than at the Bernabeu playing football. Mm -hmm. Well, you might be right. That, that does worry me uh, to a certain extent because, like Daniel says, he will regret it one day if he passes up on a couple prime years.